celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Oh, hey, everybody. Hold on. Let me just uh, do a little thing here. There we go. We had nothing nothing but troubles tonight, and I have no idea what was causing it or uh, why it was... I've got to give you a little advance warning. Huh? I have to give you a little advance warning. What? I thought that you weren't going on, so I got out of my clothes and, and turned back Handmaidens, which I only have nine minutes left, and I took my Xanax. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Wait a minute. Now I have to show you. Hi. So you took, well, you know, you can trust that I'm going to maybe get it on. Why? Why? It's happened before where you didn't. Huh? What do you mean it's happened before where I didn't? Over time. It's a couple times you've had some issues. Let me uh, see here. Is this a problem here? I just want to, oh, come on. I'm trying to fix something. This is just. Anyway, it's 10, 12. So I'm glad that shoot into my half an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. All right. All righty. All righty. All righty. Let me see here. Let me see what this one says. You need to have oh. a few of those disruptions every week. It's, it's going. I, I don't know. And then you. resolve it. Resolve it like on the 28th minute. Oh, I see. Hold on a second. Just keep talking. We're holding. <laughs> We're holding. I was literally in bed. Really? I took off my Friday night blouse that yeah. I should put in the wash. Um, put Handmaid's Tale on because I only have eight minutes left. Mm-hmm. And was ready for bed. Okay. I think I can delete this file. Whatever. There we go. All right. Okay, we're all right now. Hi. Oh, boy. This has just been amazing to me. Uh, hello, folks. I'm, I'm sorry if we're kind of a little for blungent here, but... Not we. Speak for yourself. No, no, but uh, what happened was I started the show... Oh, you show. mean the crew? Yeah. I started the show. <laughs> we're a little looking a little dark tonight. Yeah, well... You go anyway, like this with your shirt? Anyway, I started the show. I started the show. And uh, I click a thing here that says start streaming. And none of it was streaming. None of it was, was, uh, was streaming. Let me go to a split screen here so we can see the two of us. Uh, uh, and, and, and none of it was streaming. And uh, it just, uh, I, I, I finally, I rebooted this machine and uh, I don't know what made it work all of a sudden. But it, and it may have been something at, at YouTube, which is very rare. But things you know, happen. But there was something where it just wasn't sending the signal yeah, out. And so I rebooted the machine, and I did a few other things. And, and I went to bed. And then when I came back on, I found I started recording <laughs> when I shouldn't have. I thought, I, when did I start recording when that was the time? Yeah, I did start recording at the right time, and I stopped the recording. Oh, well. <laughs> Screw it. Anyway, just, it's, Friday. I'm, I'm, it's Friday. I'm really out of it. I, I, I actually, I shouldn't I don't want to talk about your ailments. No, I'm not talking about my ailments. We're gonna get, to, we're gonna get around to it in about three minutes. No, we're not talking about my ailments. But it, I'm talking but, about this. And I, here's what bothers me is that I started the recording, and it was right for me to start it. But then I saw that it was recording, and it shouldn't have been recording. And, and I, I've t- anyway, you got from us. I, I got it taken care of. Good. All right. Okay. So, folks, if we're a little late coming on, not and we, not we. Speak for yourself. When I talk about we, I mean the, 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 the program. Stu- the studio. Yeah, boy, you better. You're <laughs> or that. Your pills are already hitting you. No, it's not. You're getting wacky. No, when I fall asleep at the chair, then then you know I'm. I'm really? Asleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just All my right. normal. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, 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 I I I screwed up here. I didn't. I'm sure glad I didn't do it. I just been we- I've been feeling weird. Here we go. Did I tell you? Woozy. Hmm. And so what I do is I have to start the stream. Then I have to also start the recording. But I, when I looked at it, the recording was going, and I don't think I want it going yet. But I, I don't know. I stopped it and started the. Well, no, it, forget. It, it's it. fine forget now. It. We took care of it. Okay. You took care of it. Yes, yeah. you did. And I'm too tired to do a show now. 
Okay, so you come off with me. Come off with you? Well, yeah. <laughs> what, we go to bed at the same time? God forbid. <laughs> e even on nights when I don't do this show, we don't go to bed at the same well, time. Well, in the early days we did. When you used to stay over at my apartment, we went to bed together. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't have this to do, and I didn't have... My schedule was also, I was working at the radio show. Those were in the days when you got up every three minutes and go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, no, but in the, what happened is... Uh, when I was doing that, I was doing mornings at Sirius. Oh, right, right, right. And so yeah. my whole clock And we kind of went to bed together. Remember, yeah. we took showers at night, and then we, we went to bed. Was that the days when I took showers? Yeah. yeah. We're starting again. That's great. Well, I take a shower every day now. I know. How I mean, nice You can't come back from the gym and not take a shower. You know? How terrible would that be? It'd be horrible. Uh, but anyway, uh, it says, uh, yeah, uh, it looks like tech problems, yeah. Right. Okay. Somebody wrote there. Okay. All right. All right. Anyway. So. So it's uh, it's ten sixteen. Everyone, I'm just laying it out. Do you feel your job on this show is to give time signals? Yes, I think I'm the I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the clock. Okay. I'm the Miss Evening Clock. Anyway, I uh, um, um, I'm so happy. I'm so glad you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy because. My favorite TV show, which was canceled oh, by that's Fox, right. it's being picked up. Has been, has been picked up. You see, the one in the wonderful world of uh, uh, of, of today's TV landscape, a show gets canceled, but that doesn't mean it's down and out. If it right. happens to have even a uh, what we would call a cult audience, Netflix we'll or Amazon we'll or Hulu up. will pick it pick up. up. And, uh, and it gives it another life. Yeah, and there was a show I loved, and uh, I think it was it was one of those kind of shows. that was just fun. Yeah. Over the years, we've had a lot of shows that weren't picked up. Yeah. Well, in the old days, when a show was canceled, it that was, was canceled. It. So anyway, um, uh, but this is happening a lot this year. Um, so I love the show Lucifer, and uh, I, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. You're going to get to again because. Netflix picked it up. That's right. Now it was canceled by Fox, and Netflix has decided they'll pick it up, uh, which is great. Uh, I, it won't be like a 22 episode no, arc, it'll however. Be eight or nine. Be, no, my, they, they, they'll do 13, I think. You know, we'll see. they'll do 13. Uh, no, because most of the shows they do that you binge are 12 or 13 episodes. Okay, I think The Crown is like 10. Uh, but anyway, so uh, you know, I. Um, Oh, now that we're on, you know what I noticed? I'm not going to, I'm going to stop doing this. What? Doing you know, what? The, the, we, we had all kinds of problems, right? Right. And all of a sudden when we were on, there were like 25 people there, right? Well, now and, that you don't have it, a problem. And then one, one, once I didn't have a problem anymore, it went down to 18. Oh, <laughs> that's what's on. I see. <laughs> anyway, so they picked up Lucifer and, and, and they picked up a show which uh, Damien likes, which I tried but I never could get into, what? called The Expanse. That was picked up by Amazon after it was canceled by Sci-Fi. Wow. And uh, uh, the, um, uh, a show which I never watched called Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which supposedly was very popular, never seen. Uh, was picked up by NBC. So it, it's not in this day and age, we aren't living in the day and age where if you die, you die. die. It's like second life. You know, if you've got a following and people want to... Oh, and by the way, the other one that Netflix is bringing back, they canceled over at ABC another favorite show of mine, uh, Designated Survivor with uh, uh, Kiefer Sutherland. And uh, it looks like Netflix is going to pick that up. Good. You know, so yeah, hey. shows don't necessarily die anymore. It's I have found now there's so much selection. It's almost like information overload. I love it. You go from one thing to well, another. Well, no, you go, you watch some stuff that's, you watch, come on, let's talk about, what was, what country was that from? <laughs> My Turkish soap. The Turkish soap Turkish opera. Soap. I, 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 65 fucking hours she watched. Well, she we didn't know watched. that in the beginning. It was a couple of them. And I was just looking for something to just kind of... It ruined my life. <laughs> I got into it. It was like a, a novella, <laughs> but in Turkish. Yeah, but it, 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 it drove me absolutely fucking nuts that you I were watched watching all this it. thing. And it, it wasn't even like it was a big TV show. It was a soap opera as well. Yeah, but you know, when it's home, I really kind of got into it. You know, when they looked at each other and you heard the orchestra in the background. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> and the lead was so good looking. But 
you know, there are some good TVs out that there. That was on Netflix. That was a Netflix. Well, it was, it was a Netflix original. Did they call it a <laughs> Everything, Netflix original? Everything's a Netflix original. Yeah. As soon as they take no, it No, they over. will with Lucifer. It'll say Netflix original. Because it will be. You know, in fact, uh, Star Trek Discovery, which is the new Star Trek series, it's on CBS All Access in uh, in Europe. It's on Netflix, and it's a Netflix original. <laughs> I, I have some copies of it where it says Netflix Flex original. You know, uh, and a lot of the uh, CW shows, things like uh, Riverdale and Flash and uh, Arrow. What's CW? Uh, uh, CW is uh, it's uh, it's Warner Brothers and CBS. Oh. Uh, they have a, their own network. And um, these shows uh, are, when they're over in Europe, they're, they're Netflix. Originals. Netflix originals. <laughs> and I'm going, wait a minute, no, it's a CW original. <laughs> it's not a Netflix it's not original. Netflix. It's original. But they pick up the ability to say Netflix original, I guess, when they buy the thing in another country. Hey, was today an incredibly stacked information day? Look at all the things that happened. Well, Manafort got put in jail. Well, we knew that. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, Obama, Obama uh, Trump denies the report and says it was a, a Democratic. He's also blaming the, the immigration. General. He's in, uh, blaming the immigration also on Obama. <laughs> no, he's, he's blaming the kids. Yeah. Being a, separated from their parents due to Obama. On something that the Democrats did. And today, I was watching MSNBC. And they were just working like hell to see where he got that kind of information. But he because lies all the time. They, they because none of the things that Democrats did ripped children away from their... But nobody, you know. nobody sees that. They just yeah. see him. Yeah. The best thing of the day, I mean, if you want the, the quote of the day from, from, Obama, uh, from uh, Trump, uh, or Trump, as he's still I still have you, it. You still have it on your computer. You, you got this thing. And you have this, his, the original family name was Drumpf. And, German. Uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, who does John it? Oliver. John Oliver did this app you can put on your computer that anytime Trump's name comes up, it says Drumpf. Anywhere. Anywhere. New York Times, uh, just Google, yeah. anything. I still have it in here. It's just I haven't tu I've I turned still, it off. Yeah, I love it. I love coming to But I can turn it off on yeah. anytime I want to. So, okay, so where were you? Oh. <laughs> well, now that, that's a real problem. <laughs> Where was I? Let me see here. Oh, the news of the day: Donald oh, Trump. Yeah, uh, with, with the uh, with the uh, you know he he. It, it's interesting that he loves Kim Jong Un, but he hates <laughs> Trudeau up in Canada. You know, and today he today, today he was saying to Fox and Friends how he admired who, who were who were are, are were interviewing him on the front lawn of the White, White House. House. He said, "Well, you know, Kim Jong Un is a tough guy, and he's got very, he's got people who just uh, stand up and do everything he says. I wish I had that." <laughs> Meaning, yeah, yeah. And then later on, he said, "Well, oh, I was only kidding. it was only a joke because somebody probably went, you know, you shouldn't have said the that." Bet. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. What, the guys in the oh, 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 and then Jeff Sessions comes out and talks about the Lord saying it's okay to separate your kids. From yeah. and, and Sarah, whatever her name is, Cuntface, did the same thing. She praised the Lord and said that that's why. Yeah, but, uh, well, her father is, 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 <laughs> is, is a, Huckabee is a minister. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I was trying to, f I didn't have time to read it, but what, why did they say that it was in the Bible? What in the Bible? He was said? quoting something that was in the Bible. And it's funny because uh, right. somebody pasted on Facebook her and and the quote and then they had right below them like isis all in black with the guns saying and their religion also their their quote from religion yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, uh but i i don't know what what in the bible would separate children from their parents you know and then she she justified it you know i uh, maybe maybe it's because uh, god said to abraham uh kill uh, your son, and as as he was about to do it, God said, "Don't you know? I just want to make sure you like the Lord." Well, I, I mean, is, is that where he's getting it from? How I don't did know. The United States come like this. I don't like it anymore. No, we're I mean, not. It's we're not, not the country not that the good, I love. We're not the good guys anymore. Yeah. We're. If you saw this going on in other countries, where children were being ripped away from their parents and put in, essentially, to, 
uh, detention. Right. Okay. One hour of sun. You know, uh, you would you would say that is the most horrible offense yeah. towards human dignity and towards uh, decency that you've ever seen. And you would have international groups inspecting it and decrying it. Uh, you know, it, it's it's terrible. It, it, somebody, uh, that you, what's his name, uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, was on MSNBC. And he says, well, we're going down there to all those places, and we're going to try and see those kids because we're a bunch of preachers, and we want to go down and have the clergy, blah, 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 blah. And uh, John Heilman was on the panel, and he said, I got a better idea, Rev. And he said, what? He said, send lawyers. That's right. That's what they were saying all morning. Send lawyers. Mm -hmm. You know, that lawyers should be down there right now protecting these kids' That's rights. That's right. So... We'll see what happens. He's right. You know, uh, it's, uh, it's 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 terrible. Ten twenty six. Yes, I know it's ten twenty. Can I roll over? No, not yet. Uh, so anyway, so uh, you know, I mean, uh, if we did, if any other country did this, we would be decrying it as a uh, disrespect of human rights. I mean, imagine a, a mother comes up here because she's number one, she's afraid she's going to get raped by gangs down in uh, or her husband down in Mexico. So she, she not Mexico. Central America. Or, or Central America. They're all coming from all over the place. No, but Mexicans, they say, are very different. They're not that desperate. They're not, you know, yeah, except okay. for the drug So people. Colombia yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and places like that. And they uh, uh, come up here seeking refuge. And now when they finally get to refuge, they're thrown in jail and their kids are taken away from them. And now, how the, many thousands in the did past, they say? In the past, when we've had this problem, because you don't just let people come over the border, right? Uh, they would arrest the they, family. They, well, they wouldn't arrest the family. They would they would charge them, but and let then the they kids would put them in with, detention, but keep with the kids, kids with, with them. them. Uh, so this is a new thing, and, and this is under Jeff Sessions, uh, at the behest of the man you call the president. Or yeah, and he's quoting the Bible uh, today, saying how it justifies to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and might I say that I uh, we should start referring to Trump as El Presidente. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to win the 18 election. Because we're living in a banana republic. Yes, we are. If there was ever a banana republic, this we're is. the fucking Republicans. No one's coming up and you know opening their mouths. Just a few people that aren't rerunning. Of course, they have nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You know. But where the fuck is Paul Ryan? I mean, he's quitting at the end of the year. Yeah, Paul Ryan decried this. The oh, Republicans, the, a lot of the Republicans are decrying what's happening. Paul Ryan didn't do shit. He didn't do anything. But he, said, he came out, he made a statement, I saw him. Not really. No, he said, I think this is horrible. Yeah, 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 but nothing. But no, what okay. Trump said he thought it was horrible, but it was all the Democrats' of fault. Of course. And we're trying to figure out why. Yeah, why is it yeah, the Democrats' fault? the Democrats' fault. fault. What did the Democrats do? Well, they didn't. Uh, I love the way he, told, he turned the Comey report around so it was... The re Democrats that were like fucking up the uh, election. Yeah. So I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Today, that was the other thing he said today. He said, "Wow, that vindicates me that there was no collusion." collusion. This had nothing to do with the Russian investigation. Nothing. You know, this was the FBI and what they were doing. They were trying to protect the the election. He lost the election to Hillary. Uh, he. It was the final. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When you say. Let's go get Comey. Uh, I don't think you've got. He's got any friends in the liberals. You no, know? no. Uh, but what because I'm saying, we hated him when he did that. Yeah. You know, so everybody hates him. All right. But anyway. there's a book out. Okay, it's ten twenty nine. I'm rolling over. You're rolling over. This is. It we all like, roll over. She's gonna roll over like uh, like uh, uh, Watch uh, like what's his name? Cohn is gonna roll over. Oh, he uh, is yeah, gonna roll he's going to roll. I over. can't wait. Yeah, I, yeah, I you can't. You can't make this up. You can't. You can really can't. You can't. You can't make How this up. My Let microphone me, is not up. Because your microphone isn't is over there. Oh. Boy, do I have to teach her everything? You hear the way he talks to me? Huh? What do you mean? You hear, you hear, you, you, anyway, so we're we're um um we're all uh, we'll call in. here. What? Call in. You call in, yes, yes. Uh, it'd be nice of you to call in. Oh, hey, it's David Hajek's birthday today. Oh. Yeah, I just saw it. It came up. It's not that I'm. I, it's not that I'm a caring 
wonderful no, but human it does being. Come up it, in com it comes I up like on that. your notifications. Yeah. So it's you know, neat. yeah. So anyway, we got a little off to a little uh, late start tonight, but uh, but not late for me, huh? But not late for me. It's in my ballpark. It's in your ballpark. Okay. So the first person that calls, please. Yeah, yeah. Wait, pl please what? Call in. No, no. The first person that calls, please. You said. Call in. Well, because they would be call, but they would be the, they would be calling in because they were the first caller. Good, and the second caller. Yeah, we don't know who it will be. But uh, it better uh, be know. soon. Could be Phil. Could be uh, anywhere from a number of people. Ah, God, my nose is itching. Brian, where are you? Oh, Brian will call. Don't worry, Brian. Brian's out there. Is it a Phil free night? No, it's a free full full free free night. Free or full night. Boy, I'm so out of it. Did I tell you that I, I, I think I'm dying? I've got some horrible You know, we're all going to die sometime. Y yeah, what? We're all going to die someday. Someday. Yeah. Some way. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm waiting for people to call. See, this right, is can the I go to sleep? Is this the, yeah, you can go all if right, you want to. Mm. Call she, in. She fell asleep. I feel at, guilty. She fell asleep at her desk tonight. I did. Uh, so, uh, because she didn't sleep well last I night. I woke up at 2. Well, I'm taking a pill tonight because I, I think part of my tiredness is that I'm not sleeping. I'm not resting solidly, you know. Well, is anybody going to call or can I go home too? Or I am home. Uh, I can call it quits here. We can start hearing from people soon. Um, what would you give? You give like 20 minutes to a professor. How hmm? much would you give to a broadcaster? How, what? With like, if you're waiting 20 minutes for a professor and he doesn't oh, show up, oh, I see, up, and he doesn't show up, yeah. you get to leave. Yeah, what's yeah. the thing with broadcasting? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, with citizen panels, it's yeah. never been established. Well, why don't we establish it? Do you want to say by 25 of? Uh, well, I I noticed that Ray Renati is calling already. There you go. So so we we have somebody calling right at the top of the ah, show here. Thank you. Uh, Hi, he, Ray. Oh, look look at Ray. Wait a minute. Hold on a oh, second. He's got a wife. R wife. Uh, Ray is outside. He's, yeah. he, what are you doing? Walking the dog again? Yeah. Are you, uh, can, can you hear? Can you hear us, Ray? Who? Ray, can you hear us? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to yeah. say good night, yeah. everyone. Mm. Good night. Oh, good night. Yeah. Good night, Tom. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. 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 Good. Th yeah, well, she. She. She's already on Xanax right now. She takes it every night to go to sleep. Every night. I haven't. Oh, I haven't taken it for a couple for about four days, and I. I don't think I've been resting well because I'm tired all day. So. Well, you know, I. I. I just called the doctor uh, who helps people get off of benzos because I've been on, one milligram of clonazepam for 15 years every night. Really? Yeah. Because my damn doctor told me to do it. Now I'm completely addicted. Yeah, yeah. And, and one weekend I didn't have it. I started having hallucinations and stuff. So now I gotta figure out how to get off of it. Yeah. Well, I uh, uh, I don't know. I've just been lightheaded the last couple of days, and you know. Yeah. Uh, but but I you know it's not like it's not like my heart because I don't have any chest pains or anything like that. You know, it's just uh, I just feel tired, and fatigued. You know, so yeah. Who knows? Do, do you have? Do you have? You ever been checked for sleep apnea? Well, uh, I don't have sleep apnea, because, and I have the best uh, way to check. I don't have to go to a sleep clinic to ch check for sleep apnea, because sleeping next to me is Miss Sleep Apnea. If I start <laughs> snoring or whatever, which is a sure sign of sleep apnea, yeah. uh, she'll hit me, uh, and oh, uh, she used to hit me a lot. But then I went on this yeah. diet, and I lost 55 pounds. I don't snore anymore. And I asked oh, her, right. when, when I was snoring, did you hear me, like, stop breathing for a while? Because people who are, are with you in bed who, if you have sleep apnea, get kind of panicked because you yeah. stop breathing, right? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Y yeah. And uh, she said, no. She said, I only wish you would. You know, she said, <laughs> you, you know. Uh, but I know I didn't I, w I didn't stop breathing. That wasn't a problem for me. So I, I don't okay. think I have sleep apnea. Yeah. But well, I you know I just don't feel to, rested. Okay, so like you go to bed late, right? Yeah. So like when you used to have to get up earlier, did you have more energy? Hmm. Well, I was. Oh, I just lost. We just lost time. Well, you were younger. Uh, right? uh, when I was I was younger, and so I had more energy just naturally. 
you know. Yeah, I, but I noticed lately I've been um because I'm a late Nick too, and then I feel like I jet lag most of the time until like five in the afternoon. Yeah. So I've been forcing myself to go to bed earlier, mm-hmm. and actually feel better, <laughs> even though it's not my nature. Uh, yeah. I, well, you. I don't know. Well, you guys are lucky. I mean, I finished the show here at at uh, at at midnight, and oh, yeah, that's and that's like for you guys, it's like uh, nine o'clock. Yeah, you know? it's nine o'clock. So yeah, so, it's, so. It, 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 it's still time to go to bed. Things like that, you know. And uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, whatever. I with me, I stay up till about two in the morning. At yeah, least. At that's, least. that's what I was doing too, and it was because I was doing so many plays one after the other, and I wouldn't get home till midnight, and I can't sleep. And oh yeah, I'm just after, wired. Well, after you know, after you, like, after you do something like that, you're so in, invigorated from having done it. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. Hey, we've been joined by Vernon Nunn, and we've been joined by. Hey. Uh, yes, we've been joined by <laughs> Phil SOS. Meyer. Me 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 me. me. Uh, and uh, um, and of course, Tom Yamaguchi is here tonight. This is a Tom Yamaguchi full night. Uh, I keep accidentally hanging up. Like, <laughs> yeah. Trying to hey, Bill, Excuse sorry, me, folks. I'm not. Pi- I'm not picking my nose. Been? I have an itchy nose tonight, and I hate it when I get itchy nose. Um, Ray Ray had asked the question. What Ray? <laughs> oh, I asked if he was a child enslavement advocate. <clears throat> Oh, um, <laughs> oh, here we go. Huh? And, and I was looking for my mommy, but I couldn't find her. But they did give me this hat, Make America Great Again, you know. Uh, oh, it's funny, yeah. Yeah, I got the hat. No okay, mommy. Cool. But, you know, uh, uh, I, I guess I guess it's time to start. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> you had to bring it up, didn't you? Uh, um, I'm sorry. No, I was talking with the girlfriend here. I mean, what, yeah, well, this is not America. This is what I know is America. is the compassionate country, you know, that rips children away from mothers. Come on. And don't say they don't because there are some kids, about 1,500 of them, up in a uh, what used to be a, a, a Walmart, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, that don't have their mothers because they were taken away from them. Okay. Well. Their mothers didn't uh, were told oh, they were it, told it's zero oh, tolerance. Oh, oh god! No, they weren't. They arrived and they were arrested. Hey, you know when you get arrested, when you get arrested, you. you get sent to jail. They they don't let you take your kid. Ah, uh, they used uh, to. When they used to. Wait a minute. 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 Al Capone under 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 under, comp- under, un- under Obama, when some yeah. people were picked up at the border and they had children. The children and the parents were taken to whatever facility, detention facility they were going to. They didn't put them in a, in a jail, but they put them in a detention facility, and they get got to keep their kids. Nobody ever thought about taking their kids away till you know old Scrooge Trump becomes president of the United States and Jeff Sessions thinks the Bible gives him the right to do it. The Bible. Yeah, I heard him. I heard that speech. He said, "I heard it. This I heard this speech." He was in front of people. He said that it's a biblic- biblically fine. I heard it. Well, you know what I find wrong about that? Don't we separate church from state in this country? Well, and isn't that we don't. Is, We're supposed to. Isn't that a little wrong uh, to quote the Bible as your excuse for why you, you did got something? You wrong, Alex. The state is supposed to stay out of the church. That's oh, the separation. Oh, I see. But I get to, get, I get to have Jeff Sessions. I get, I get to have Jeff Sessions make legal decisions by reading the Bible. Oh, good. No, he made legal decisions. Huh? I th- I didn't know he made yes, legal he decisions. Yes, he does. He gives orders. He gives orders. Arrest those Mexicans along the border. Take those kids and put them in a detention center by uh, away from their mothers. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's the guy who gave the orders. Hey, you arrest somebody. They're under arrest. Uh, you know that, that's oh, what happens. Come on. Where's where's the where's the where's the, fa- where's the father in you? Hey, when you rob a jewelry store and they put you in jail, you, they, you know that's a whole different matter. We can get to robbery well, on some other matter. day, but this is about law. this is about tr- you, tr- you break the law. You break the law. That's the how about Trump's kids? <laughs> how about Trump's kids and his foundation? Yeah, they should all go to jail because of what they've done with that foundation, well, about, paying for, off paying off uh, uh, campaign donations. Process? and, and uh, collecting money from people that owe the Trump organization money, they should all go to jail. 
how about due process? If they're if uh, if they should go to jail, they should get due process. And they they're, should be arrested at least and arraigned for doing something illegal. Arraigned is not convicted. No, but they should be arraigned. And if they can't post bail, they should spend time in jail, just like Paul Manafort. And Paul Manafort is being pressured to 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 uh, uh, to um, flip, uh, and uh, they got nothing on him, and, no, and certainly <laughs> nothing. Money laundering. Oh no! Is nothing. Oh, oh no! No, 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 Phil, 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 Money wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. With witnesses you're one hundred. You're one hundred percent wrong on that one. They have money laundering, a whole bunch of other things. Now, whether he yep. can wait a minute, let me finish. Right. Whether he has anything to contribute to the Mueller investigation or to that, there's a question as to whether he has enough information to flip in order to get out of all the other stuff. Right. Okay. But they, they, they don't think that Manafort necessarily has the information uh, and that, if he, that he could flip. And if he can't flip, well, he's, he's, he's facing a lot of jail time. Yes, yeah, got, uh, yes, Vernon. I got a picture of somebody. Wait a minute. Vernon. I'm saying he's he's going bye bye. He's going bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> How do you say that in Morse code? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, oh man. It's, uh, I, I I can't get my G Gordon Liddy picture down without a ladder. <laughs> so. G Gordon Liddy. Yeah. You know why he got into radio? Yeah, you. I didn't take the job. Right. Yeah, I didn't take the job. Uh, he, uh, I had a deal with, uh, to go to work in Washington, D.C. and leave San Francisco uh, yeah. to, to work for Infinity, which was then. Uh, yeah, let me see what the call letters are on that. Uh, it was W, I can tell you. Oh. It was well, WJFK. Well, it was WJFK. He also put out a series of calendars yeah. and uh, invited people to send in pictures of their girlfriends in bikinis holding weapons. Uh, yeah. Yeah, WJFK. Yeah, WJFK. Why didn't you ask me? You, you were telling me as I was going to look. Yeah, WJFK. Yeah. Uh, and, and I turned down the job, and they gave it to G. Gordon Liddy. And I said, I don't understand this. How do you, in, in, in some kind of reverie, think you go from me to G. Gordon Liddy? Hey, we can't they get Alex. Let's get flip. G. Gordon Liddy. That'll show him. Maybe they <laughs> wanted you to flip. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> well, Mel, Mel, Mel Carmazan, uh ran the radio stations, owned the radio stations, WJFK, and uh, he, they wanted me to go to work. And they wanted me to leave San Francisco. They also wanted me to leave San Francisco because I cleared the way for uh, Howard Stern, who was just being broadcast down in uh, uh, San Jose. And um, I was a little suspicious of it. And they said, well, we can't sign you till you get here and you've left the other station. And I, I didn't know. I'd heard a lot of horrible things about Mel Carmazan. And I figured, I know it's going to happen. I'm going to then quit Live 105. I'm going to call them up and say, okay, I've quit Live 105. And they go, well, too bad. We've decided not to hire you. Uh, I didn't realize. That would have been pretty no, shitty. I know that would have been pretty shitty. But I was going to be in a never-never land there. And it could happen because you know, it's a cutthroat business. And I heard terrible things about Mel Carmazan. Well, it was the biggest mistake I ever made because I would have been syndicated and so on. And Mel Carmazan is a man of his word. And I found that out when I went to work for him at Sirius XM. He's a man of his word, and, and uh, he, he's, he's never, and that part of his being a man of his word is he didn't want to be accused of stealing somebody away from another employer. Yeah. So that was, that was what happened. So. Hello. I just wanted to come back. I, I'm walking, and I lost signal. Yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't, like, leaving in a huff. Oh, I know. <laughs> you were leaving in a minute. You were leaving in a minute. You were leaving in a minute in a huff. Thank you very much, Mark's <laughs> brothers. If you have a blockage like me, you huff and puff the whole way. Yeah. 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 Oh, God, yeah, that must be horrible, man. Yeah. I hope they get that fixed. Uh, Tuesday, they're going to check me out. Yeah, Tuesday, I'm getting my checkup. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm of course worried about because you know I mean he's going to check my stenosis. I know my aortic stenosis and my aorta is closing up probably. That's why I'm tired all the time. I'm looking forward maybe an angioplasty or a stint. 
I'll feel like a twenty-year-old again. Yeah, well, the, well if, I, if my if it's my aorta, my aorta is going bad or something like that. They put in a, what is it, a pig valve or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, like Jeff has. I think yeah, something like that. Yeah. But anyway, there's the cute dog again, the irrepressibly cute dog. Yes, Tom. Ray, where are you? Where, where are you walking? Uh, I'm out in the Palo Alto um, open space area. Uh, nature okay. preserve. Yeah. It looks beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a it's nature. All, I, yeah. It's a nature preserve, so your dog could go kill a bird. Uh, uh, you know, she's scared of them. <laughs> Where is that? Like off University Avenue or something? Um, it's right next to 10, Highway 101. Oh, you know, okay. like. Yeah, it, it's, you know, Embarcadero University, yeah. San Antonio. Yeah. I live just, you know, a uh, five minute walk from here. I come here almost every day. Yeah. Is the Town and Country Shopping Center still down there at Embarcadero? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm Embarcadero Arnold, you know. Well, of course, this there. is of great interest to our national audience <laughs> who wonders what side of Highway 101 this is on. <laughs> <laughs> All 28 of them. Let's no, but other people will be listening to this later, so we have to keep that in mind. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there was 28. Now there's 18. <laughs> yeah. All right. We need to get back to, I don't know. We you need to get back uh, to, yeah. What, what do you think, Tom? What do you think? Uh, I don't have to ask Tom what he thinks about the whole thing with the kids being taken away from the parents. It's absolutely ridiculous. What, absolutely more, more than ridiculous, ridiculous is I inhuman. Mean, you know. I just don't know where to start. I, oh, this this country just headed to fascism. It's just you know uh, you, you mentioned the, the the statement he made earlier, is praising say, saying that uh, his pe you know, like Kim Jong Un's people, uh, you know they stand up straight when he talks, and he wants he wants the same thing. If for I could us. only get that for my people, people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want the same for my people. That's yeah. what he wants, and, and uh, you know he, he's pulling out of the. Uh, uh, United Nations Human Rights uh, uh, body, and, and it's just like, what happened to democracy? I mean, what happened to to uh, what happened to goodness? Congress what happened and, and, and Congress? I mean, we just have, you know, this guy's just just doing anything he wants, and and as we said earlier, he lost the popular vote, and he's just he's just oblivious to that. It's, it's just ridiculous. Well, you know, even if you are, I mean, even if you are uh, uh, of, the, of the opposite nature of your other party, once you become president, you try to accommodate everybody if you can, you know? Sure. And, and, and even at his worst, Bush never tried to tear this democracy apart. They never tried to, to take our... Uh, uh, well, Bush was a perfect example. I, I mean, well, he respected he, the office. Oh, huh? He lost popular Bush, George yeah. uh, Bush W. Bush. Yeah, lost the pop not by much, he, but he did lose the popular vote to to Al Gore. And he, and even when he was running, he said, you know, I he, one of his strengths was working across the aisle. His, his strength as governor of Texas is he was able to work with the Republicans and Democrats, and he came in with the same attitude. You know, he put, brought Democrats into to his cabinet. Uh, he worked, at, you know, no matter what you think of, of No Child Left Behind, at least, you know, he worked with Ted Kennedy to get ed, on education reform. Yeah. When he passed his tax, uh, his, his his tax bill, he worked with Democrats. You're right. You know, uh, it's um, it's it's just it's just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> some of the people on the. Trump's cabinet, like Cohen and so forth, weren't they Democrats? Uh, in, the, in his cabinet? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I, I thought that guy Cohen was a uh, Democrat. No, he just quit. But uh, no, the uh, the one the, uh, one holdover from um, from the Obama administration was that guy that was the uh, the veterans um, oh. veteran secretary. Yeah, uh, and uh, and what happened was, of course, he. He was uh, he was far, forced well forced to resign because of, of doing something that, every, that that Scott Pruitt has been doing multiple times over, you know, and uh, so so. But but he, most I think Trump's afraid to let anybody else go because he won't be able to get them put through uh, 
uh, the uh, procedure for uh, what? Well, what they're all leaking anyway. They're, I mean, the, 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 you know, the, the White House has is is been in continual turmoil, and you've got more more people leaving. His probably among his more competent members, uh, this uh, legislative uh, advisor, looks like he's the next out the door. There's rumors about uh, uh, Sarah Sanders and uh, what's his name from the communications team, the CBS report, that they're leaving. Uh, they're not uh, confirming, but they're not denying it. Uh, it's just it's just a total mess. Yeah. And I've never seen that in my lifetime. I, I've just never seen anything like what's going on now. Okay. Yeah. If you want to see turnover, you should come to my store. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, then I, maybe I'll avoid your store. <laughs> well, I, Phil, there. Phil, t be, be honest with me now for yeah. a second. Can, are you entirely comfortable with some of the things that Trump says? No. You know, I mean, I, I, I now have a new I now have a new way of referring to him as El Presidente. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that he speaks from the hip, if you know what I mean. And uh, no, he speaks. He speaks from his ass. OK, yeah. <laughs> he missed He's his hip and he went straight to his ass. I, well, I understand. He's not sophisticated in the uh, in the world of repercussion. <laughs> uh, but you know wait, wait, wait. hold get... on a second hold on a second phil you've been a businessman yeah. all your life and and you're not good at understanding repercussions but he didn't have to understand repercussion he was always the buyer no he didn't have to understand repercussions that's why he's now in trouble for his uh, his uh, uh, uh charity you know yeah. uh but you know who knows what'll happen with this charity thing uh, I heard. Uh, well, the, believe me, the, uh, believe me, that was being looked into before he even was running yeah. for president, and they they saw some very bad improprieties there, and they kind of yeah. laid off of him because he was uh, he he was running for president, and they didn't want to you know have it go bad. Okay, yeah. so they they laid off of him. But, it, you know, it, it, it was known for quite a while that, for instance, that $10,000 painting of himself that he put in Mar-a-Lago came from the charity. The charity well, paid for uh, it. You know, his son uh, uh, appeared on one of the news shows and was explaining the thing off, but it was in the background. I didn't really hear what the guy had to say. But, you know, the painting of himself, uh, you know, the charity might have paid for it. I don't know what you know. I don't know how those things work. I do know that the Clinton Foundation has has their own issues. You know, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, wait a minute. That's what about ism? No. <laughs> Clinton. All I know is no. the charities that I involve myself with. No, no, uh, no, no. Now you're taking us off the main course here. We're, we're, let's get back. Let's go go back to Trump and his charity. We can't talk about the Clinton charity. I don't know what he did and what he didn't do, so I'm not qualified to talk. You want to hear what he did? Sure. <laughs> okay. You go first, Tom. Oh, he had a he had a, a a judgment against him. Yeah. Uh, for from regarding some display of the flags, it was and he had to pay what what ten thousand dollars. Yeah. He authorized. He even he's, he he even wrote a note to uh, to Cohen. Oh, uh, pay this uh, with a check out of the foundation. Hmm. Uh, that is elite. <laughs> You know, that's self-dealing. Well, the painting is. I, uh, isn't the worst thing that can happen, Tom, that he has to pay the money back? The worst thing that could, could also happen. He go to jail. He could go yeah. to jail. <laughs> that's how he, could, yeah. he could have said yeah, it was a mistake. You know, he asked his attorney, and his attorney didn't. No, but uh, they, they supposedly they have. But the IRS can, ha can, can pr produce a criminal referral if they, they can prove that it's done knowingly, that they mm -hmm. did these illegal things knowingly. And just because you let had some, one of your toadies do it, okay, you can't sit around and say the dog ate my homework. Yeah, I, you know that's I, I, not I, that's I, not an excuse. Yes, yeah, Tom. And I remembered another one uh, from from what I've read. Uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the publicity stunt that he pulled up uh, during the Iowa primaries. Uh, the, yeah, where he was supposed to, where he decided he was going to boycott the the uh, debate. Mm -hmm. and on a uh, a fundraiser for veterans groups and basically his campaign was in communication with the charity of how to get 
for uh, Iowa-based veterans charities money before before the Iowa uh, private, you know, caucus, and uh, and and they they uh, they wanted to make sure that they had all the publicity. They had big chicks handed out to these groups, and it had them all be done before the the uh, the caucuses and through the charity. That money just languished until the news media picked it up and says, "What are you going to do with all the rest of this money?" So, so while the, the while the campaign value was was you know important to them, mm-hmm. you know suddenly the money wasn't important. Well, I, what I understand, I what the, uh, he had answered to the news people that you had to vet these organizations. That there were many, many, many organizations asking for this money. But he just can't the, give it out. He didn't. He had the camp. He he had the campaign decide which which charities to to uh, which veterans groups to to hand out. They weren't all that vetted. That was real quick, just like that. Oh, well, it took like six months, Tom. No, no, we're complaining that none of the week. Vernon, no, Vernon, they were complaining that none of the money got distributed. It was like six months. Well, okay. there was initially, but. Uh, yeah. How yeah. about how about how about this one, Phil? Yeah. There were vendors who owed the Trump Organization money, mm-hmm. who wrote checks to the Trump Foundations instead of paying it directly to the Trump Organization. So therefore, the Trump Organization didn't count that as income and didn't pay taxes on it. And these people got to take a tax deduction because they gave the money to a five hundred one c three. That's illegal. I don't know how that works. Phil, you know, occasionally, just once, I'd like you to say, you know, maybe Trump did something wrong there. You we'll know? see. Isn't he, isn't he due, due? He pro- signed all the tax returns It's, it's for the foundation. Got, it's due process. Oh, you know? it's due Let process. Them- oh, oh, is that uh, is that what Trump is good at, due process? No, that's what he deserves. He's an American citizen. Oh, I see. And, 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 and other so citizens don't deserve it? Does Hillary deserve due process? Sorry, I had to yes, say that. Yes, she definitely deserves to be processed. Oh, there we go, double standard. No, Hillary deserves due process. I think that there was a cover-up of uh, what she did, and it's it's starting to come out. And now that it's coming out, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Out what, except what on can, Fox and Friends. Wait a minute, what can, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, time. hold on, Phil, because you're passing misinformation here. What exactly about Clinton's uh, 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 situation when she was running for office has come out. Well, the IG report said that yeah. uh, that they didn't uh, fully investigate uh, her email. No, but that, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That has nothing to do with whether she was right or whether she was wrong, but whether the FBI was doing diligence, uh, dil- due process, right? right. That has so, nothing to do. Yeah. You just said that the Clintons were doing something terrible. Okay. No, I said they deserve due process too. You know, it's just like uh, just like anyone else that's accused, they're accused. That does mean that they're innocent until proven guilty. Hmm. You know. So uh, if if Trump did something that was illegal, uh, let them. Uh, Manafort's investigating them. There's a million people investigating them. You know, the accusations. Is 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 uh, is due process saying that you're going to deport uh, football players who don't kneel? Well, it's better than shooting them. But yes, uh, no, no, of course not. He is he going to deport football players that don't kneel? You know, he something? He, he somehow citizens. thinks that when he was made president, the big uh, president fairy came and bestowed upon him all these rights and privileges. You know. And he just well, isn't. I mean, uh, uh, Patrick, you you, you got to be sick of a lot of this, right? I'm curious where you picked up that he was going to deport players. Uh, he made a statement to that effect that we should they, they, they should be deported. Well, I would say that too, but it doesn't mean I mean it. And you, I would say yeah. the same for him. And that's fine, the Patrick. Problem I, but the problem I see with a lot of people. And I see this on Facebook, and I keep pointing it out, and it's it, like it falls on deaf ears. So many people are reading so fucking much and taking 
everything he says so fucking seriously. Okay, let's... Yeah, yeah. I gotta object to that. Uh, I, yeah, I object to that, Patrick, and here's why I object to it. He's president of the United States. Exactly. You, you gotta be careful what you say. You know, yeah. you, you could start we, World War Three by just, hey, I didn't mean it. It was a joke as the bombs are blowing up all around us, you know. But yeah. here's the thing, Alec. I didn't vote for him. All right. He won the election. And, you know, the media, they're the ones that kept propping him up and bringing him up and giving him all the fucking attention for a year and a half. Yeah. And everybody knew what he was. And everybody thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you you had uh, him interviewed with with all of the you know MSNBC and they, Joe, who the hell is that? Morning Joe, oh, yeah. fucking his dick and all that. And everybody oh. loved him because he's great for the camera. Well, now you fucking have him. You knew what you were getting, you know. And and you to take him that seriously is. Uh, it, it, like I've told a number of people on Facebook, I don't like the guy, but you know what? I sleep fine at night, and I've got other things to do than to sit and keep worrying and reading and fucking investigating. Let this shit happen. If he's guilty, throw him to fucking jail. If he's not, then, you know, he's not. But I have no problem with the investigation. Investigate the shit out of him. I mean, it, 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 some of the shit seems shady. Look after it. But in the meantime, I've got my life to live. I can't live my life worrying about every damn thing that he does or says. He's an idiot 90% of the time when he opens his mouth. But you know what? So are most of my neighbors. <laughs> I have neighbors taught shit, too. So he's no different no, than but, anybody else. But he, he's but, been... You'd never been primed to be a politician. He's just a goof. Tom has his hand up and then Jeff. Tom? He's not just a neighbor. He's the president of the United States. He uh, sat for 50 minutes with Kim Jong-un, and who knows what, what he, he promised. We found out that he made... Uh, he, that uh, he said that uh, that he told uh, Un that uh, Kim that uh, he was uh, not going to uh, that they were going to end the uh, the exercises with South Korea. He didn't tell South Korea. This is ridiculous. I mean, I mean, he's a you know he he's he's uh, he's a, he's getting into another trade war with China. Our our agricultural uh, sector of our economy is just going going nuts over this because because. You know, because because China orders a lot of our agricultural products. Uh, he's he's get he's a he's at war with Canada. Suddenly, a Canada. Is well, that that's a war we can win. <laughs> that's a war we can win because they shoot you and go. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Jeff had his hand up, and then Phil. Yeah, I want to say two things. First of all, Patrick, thank you for your great attitude. I mean, that, that is terrific your personal attitude about a lot of things and that part is great as far as trump he's an asshole okay and and he was an asshole before he became oh president. yeah oh yeah 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 okay and then when he became president he goes you know you thought the guy may have shut his mouth a little bit say i'm president now i don't have to be an asshole every day I can only do it once in a while when I want to do it. He can't stop. You know what? You know what he's doing, and then we'll go to Phil. He's doing it to no effect because I hear so many people on the air now, and these are people you know, bringing the the pundits and so on. And the, the thing they say is, you know, I'm just not amazed by anything he says anymore. You know, it's losing all its potency. Okay. Uh, yes, Phil. You know the funny thing is, I can't remember my thought. At, uh, if you go to two people, uh, the you, thought goes you away. You lose it within and two the people. The thing I remember is I had the glove in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know. Well, it probably would have pissed us off anyway, so don't yeah. uh, don't worry about it. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, Patrick. As far as the trading, I I agree. I'm I'm a free trade guy. I the tariffs they they bother me tremendously. 
uh, whether it be with Canada, whether it be with China. But you know what? I can't fucking control it. So for me to lay in bed at night and just worry about it is stupid. I got other things to worry. Yeah. I got to worry about if I got enough catheters in the closet. If I got enough lube. If I'm if I got to take a shit tonight. You know what? I don't fucking. I can't do anything about it. And this is the only format we My have. Way. I got it, people yapping away on Facebook. You know, I mean, just fucking relax. It could be though, f f f Patrick, that you're going to have to pay more for those catheters now. Well, you know, the thing is uh, with the trade, uh, for instance, mm -hmm. things like milk, we're paying a 270% tariff in Canada. You know, what What he's saying is, look, you want free trade, I want free trade. But it's got to be free trade. Yeah, it's got to be so free trade. It, it's yeah. okay right. for them to put tariffs on us, but it's not okay for us to put tariffs on them. Is, is what you're saying. Hey, for, so what for, uh, he, he says he wants to protect our intellectual okay. property. Okay, other people had their hands up before you. No, no, I had my hand up no, before did you. No, a long time ago, and then we went to somebody no, else. No, no, you, you lost, that, you it, lost it, it your place in line. The uh, for, first, i got to go to Tom because he had his hand up, and then Vernon has his hand up. Remember what you're going to say, Vernon. Yes, go ahead, Tom. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> okay, well... Well, I, I, what I'm say, saying is I don't know the milk situation, but we did have an after. Sure, we're negotiating it. Sure, that it's not perfect. But, but you know, to, to say that, that you know, this, the whole steel and aluminum thing is, is, is just ridiculous based on national security. I mean, come on. That's, that, 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 that's absolutely silly. I, and and, and in, in, the, in the long run, that's going to, to, to hurt our workers mm -hmm. you know it's don't, going to come back they, and bite us don't they have tariffs on our steel and aluminum also that were equal so. to the tariffs that we no, put on no i don't think so no not at all china no, has so. uh, tariffs on not stuff. not 25 percent not so they, it wasn't it wasn't it, wa it wasn't 25 percent but they restrict our goods in other ways too they won't even let them in even japan they won't let any rice in from this country into japan and it's not a matter of a tariff. You just can't bring in rice because they're protecting their farmers. Well, you know, they, they're, they're, they're TPP. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there is no TPP, but well, and, there could be. and that's could been be. on our goods. Uh, rice, for instance, for for many many years. All I know is oh, that I he's caused such a, a uproar now that we're going to have lots of problems. And uh, Vernon had his hand up before you feel so well, gotta go. the only thing I can say about Canada is that Trump repeatedly lies that there is a trade deficit with Canada anywhere you look there's a trade surplus we sell them more stuff than we buy from them that's not a trade deficit that's a trade surplus well and the second point the second point I wanted to make about the Korean military games is I read something today that uh, Trump had had a discussion with Putin about doing that and that Putin had talked to Kim Jong-un and saying if he could get Trump to do this, then Putin's going to help Kim out. Well, you know, that's, that's what my hand was up for before was that when Trump was a candidate, he said that he didn't want to have uh, troops in Japan and in Korea and, and so forth uh, and, and, and uh, in the Middle East unless he was being reimbursed by these wealthy con con countries uh, for the protection and the uh, costs that uh, we're providing. So by him pulling out from these military games is something that he had talked about during his campaign, uh, uh, pulling, pulling our troops out of other countries like this. And, uh, and I, I think it's a good thing. You know, we don't necessarily need to be provocative uh, to uh, someone that we want to give up their nuclear weapons. You know? Nuclear. 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 Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll spell it right for you. <laughs> yes, Tom. Well, it gets back to what I've said a number of times before. Whether a decision is the right one or the wrong one is secondary to the fact that there's no process. You know, he makes decisions arbitrarily. As I said, he made this decision without even telling South Korea, which actually had actually, the President, President Moon 
actually salvage those talks. I mean, you the other night you were you were you were talking about you know awarding the the, the Nobel Prize to to some basketball player, but actually, if anybody deserves a Nobel Prize out of this situation, it's it's the president uh, Moon of, of South Korea. And what did what did Trump do? He didn't even consult him regarding this decision to 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 end these exercises. And it's just a very typical pattern of, of Trump. There is no process. So therefore, who can trust him? Our, our, our allies are going to trust him because they don't know what he's going to do next. Yeah, they do know. It's called America first. He's putting America first before anyone else. That's what he was elected to do uh, by the states that elected him. So you think that was a great idea, then? Yeah, yeah. Phil, it, Phil, Phil, you live well, in a rather... Tell the, not tell the South Korean government what he was doing, what he had promised uh, uh, the North Koreans. You, you think that was a good you idea? You live with a rather old-fashioned notion, no, no. Phil. Yeah, let, me, let me point out that, uh, that Phil is living with a pretty old-fashioned notion. We are living in a global economy now. We're not living alone and selling our stuff to the rest of the world and buying some stuff from the rest of the world. No, it's a global economy now. And you have to play ball with everybody. And we've got the world pissed off at us now. But that's what he's pushing back against. But, but what it's going to do, I saw a report tonight, I saw a report tonight that was not biased or anything else about how much all this trade war is going to cost the average American. And they say the price on just about everything is going to go up 25%. You know, you, you know, and, and that that's everything from a can of beer to, you know, uh, lead pencils or whatever. Star Trek and Bud. Huh? Yeah, well, like, yeah. Like domestic yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, uh, it's not going to affect me. I don't drink beer. But, no, no uh, but all I'm uh, saying, well, you drink soda, don't you? No. Oh, do, do you drink anything that's in a can? No, just coffee. Just coffee. Yeah, right. It comes in, you know, well, anyway, the point, you know, you, the, the, that's not the point. The point is that everything's going to start costing more because of this trade war. It, it may, but that's the price of war. No, no. It, it, I'm, look. Oh, God. No, you don't, you don't. I'm sorry. I don't think Americans, the average Americans, have to participate in a trade war. A trade war is waged by an individual. It's not waged by me. Okay. And I'm going to have to suffer by it because this guy is blowing smoke out his ass. He thinks he knows how to do things economically when he really was a very bad businessman to begin with. Well, you know, th this trade war seems to be uh, popular now amongst many people. I, I wonder how many well, amongst people, what people. What people is this trade war? Well, I was getting to that. I, if, I wonder how many I, Go people out and ask the farmers out in the Midwest how they feel about it. All right, yeah, well, they're going to feel pretty good about it when they oh. uh, when their products start getting bought by other countries. But what I was going to say was uh, there's a backlash against Chinese products in this country. I am finding that many people would prefer to buy American-made products over Chinese products if the price was near parity. And so uh, and I'm, I wonder how many of us, if given the choice of looking at two products side by side, uh, and uh, one was made in the U.S., one was made in China. The price was fairly similar. Which one would you buy? The one that I gets stopped shopping at Walmart a long time ago, Phil. Me, well, I never did. But. Uh, you, you, I would start shopping for the item that Consumer Reports gives the best rating to. Yeah, but if let's say they were identical, all right? It's just that one was made in the U.S. and one was made in China. Which I, one would you I would buy, buy the one that was made in China just to piss you off, and also because they pay my wife a very nice income. <laughs> <laughs> they, of pay, you. they pay her a very nice uh, income, uh, and and they're very good to her. And so I'd have nothing against buying stuff from the so Chinese. So she's been bought and sold by That's the Chinese. That's correct. We're the Manchurian candidate. Yes, uh, right. Tom. Okay, so now I'm going to be a conservative. Yeah. Okay, so the, the choice of whether to buy something made in the United States or made, made something in chi China should be the choice of the consumer. Should it be the choice of the government by making a certain product more expensive? I say yes. no. It should be the choice of the consumer to whether whether to buy something made in China, and that the government shouldn't be forcing the, the, that choice. 
but the Chinese are not playing fair because they're floating their uh, they're not floating their uh, currency. Mm -hmm. uh, they're keeping their currency low. They're subsidizing things. They're dumping product into the United States at 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 lower prices to try to kill the market basically the same thing Home Depot does when they try to kill a category uh, and so what what they're doing is they're trying to take over the market and they're not playing on an even playing ground and they have tariffs on our products over there you don't see a lot of Chevy trucks over there you don't see Ford F-150s uh, you know you, you, know, uh, you I gotta tell you I was in Beijing and I saw nothing but American well foreign cars American well, uh, American, American American being the most predominant I think uh, General Motors probably had the largest amount of, uh, of metal on the road there when I went to when I went to uh, Beijing there were Jeeps all over the place yeah. yeah, Jeeps, Jeeps, Jeeps. Yeah, but yeah. I, 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 there are a lot of Mercedes there. There are a lot of you know a lot of a lot stuff of from Mercedes. other countries yeah. too. But, but I would say that the predominant uh, the predominant vehicle the company uh, on Toyota. the road there was was General Motors. So you're wrong, Phil. No, nah, I think it's Toyota, but uh, the, was the predominant company over there. The Tom wanted to say something, and I'll look yeah, it up. Yeah, oh okay. yeah, you'll look well, it up. You'll, you'll, you'll go to some place that agrees with you. Yes, yes, Tom. If there's any any uh, well, I know one thing that the the steel was that the the, the Chinese had overproduced steel, and now they've got a glut that needs to be dealt with. And there are economists that are, have ideas on how that could be done. But any any of those trade disputes can be should be taken up with the, the WTO uh, that can determine whether whether a country is is acting uh, you know appropriate or not as far as as their products and other products are concerned. Well, you know, we talk about about the Chinese stealing from America, uh, but a lot of the companies that have the most to lose by that do business with them constantly. I mean, Apple, as an example, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, is uh, uh, it does business with them, and if anybody could get stolen from for their their what can we call it their uh, uh, their uh, tech. Uh, it would be it would be Apple, and yet they trust these companies. So, what does that say? Feels so busy looking up information. Uh, there's a 25 percent tariff on U.S. auto uh, makers in China, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and that's from CNN. Okay. And yeah, so uh, you know they they have tariffs. Uh, you know, what kind of tariffs? Uh, that was in. 2017. What kind of tariffs do we have on their products? What or did we have on their products? We didn't. Uh, and, and if we did have tariffs, they were a lot lower than 25 percent. Well, you get me that figure. Go looking then, for that figure. The, the other Go thing looking for that figure. I just want to keep you busy so we can all talk among ourselves. But the, the other thing that everyone's talking about is that they make our companies expose their uh, their uh, their uh, information, uh, and then. They knock them off, and uh, and and they and they form their Chinese. Uh, uh, the, a lot of these Asian companies for years were knocking off our products. I mean, the, uh, Japan built a whole economy on knocking off our stuff, and then right. well, and then mm -hmm. and then what they did is they started making a really nice living out of doing it better than we did it. I mean, they came out, for instance, with the Beta Betamax, which was a better way of videotape recording. Uh, and what was using they were using a helical scan drum and uh, it, it made it, it created a whole category of home VCRs and so on basically they stole the idea of videotape recording from America but they took it and adapted it in a whole new way uh, so this was you know um, hey I remember Japan when I used to buy a tape recorder from Japan, it lasted about a week, you yeah. know. And then when I opened it up, I, I looked and I found that the microphone, they were using a prophylactic as the, uh, as the uh, what do you call it, the vibrator in a, uh, in a microphone, you know. Uh, you know that uh, there was a 2.5% oh, here, here, I can't error. stand it when you go on the Internet and then you sit there and just reading shit that you haven't vetted, well, uh, that you haven't you know, read, that you didn't know off the top of your head. What? fact. PolitiFact says that when we brought car uh, and uh, automobiles from China to the United States, yeah. we paid two and a half percent. Okay, tell me, tell me, the name. 
of a Chinese auto brand. Well, I there is, but I also no, know what, they own no, what, MG what, Tell now. me the name they, they, of a... They uh, own a, MG, Morris Garage. Well, we don't sell MGs in this country. No, it's, but It's they in England. Own. I'm asking you, what cars are sold from China that are made in China in this country? Well, I have I to look tell that. you, I just looked it up. What? Volvo, Volvo, a very small number of Volvos. But they're made and there, but they're uh, off the right. Scandinavian it, it says, company. It says, um, for every car, this is on fact check, for every car we import from China, we we export six to China. Uh, none of those Chinese produced cars is branded by a Chinese company. Our auto industry is doing extraordinarily well in China, while Chinese car production limps along. Phil, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, well, that goes but, against everything you just said. Yes, but uh, when we send a car over there, uh, it's 25%. No, but you didn't, you're, yeah, but you're missing the, the point, Phil. You are on PolitiFact. Look a little lower. Look a little lower, Phil, in the next paragraph. Yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, we're doing really well in China with our cars. I mean, that's what it's saying right here, and I'm looking at the graph, unless it's a lie. Also, Kentucky Fried Chicken's doing very well, too. They're, yeah, but they're going to steal the secret recipe. They're over, they're over what, 5,000 KFCs in China now, maybe more? The uh, thing in China, too, is it's only the people, the party members who have money who can buy cars anyway, and they're going to have the money to buy the cars. Mm -hmm. the, the average Joe can't get a car. Yeah. So, well, no, I, mean, I, I disagree. Exactly. I disagree with you. I disagree with that, Ray. Ray, you don't have to be a member of the party to make money. There are well, many, I mean, many mil billionaires in China who are not members of the Communist Party. You don't think they're members of the party? Okay. No, no. I mean, like my, the company my 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 wife works for. Members. I know a lot of people that have made millions at that company, which is Citic, which is one of the top banking organizations in China. And uh, they're not members of the Communist Party. Okay, you're right. I'm I'm actually um, <clears throat> operating on old information because uh, from when I went no, over the there. The only thing that you can I'm do, sorry, the only, right. you know, I asked I asked a woman was uh, was my our guide when we were in China, and I said to her, how, how do you feel about you know not being able to vote? She says, I don't care. Let them run it the way they want to run it. She says, I could vote if I wanted to. I said, how? I'd have to join the party. In other words, you have to be a member of the party in order to vote. And all you do is I'm join talking, the party. I was talking about 20 years ago when you yeah. did, and I, I'm yeah. totally wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, no. Yeah, I see where it says that, you know, for every uh, uh, three cars sold in the United States, every 10,000 cars sold in the United States, three of them come from China. Uh, we export six to China for every car. Yeah, uh, yeah I see that. But, there are, but it also, in the same article... It said that there are other products that maybe singling out cars was not the best example uh, for Trump to use, and that uh, that there are many other products that uh, uh, we do have an unfair uh, uh, toll. Well, to pay. Uh, but here I got a question for you, Phil. Uh, you know, like for instance, uh, Apple phones, uh, the Mac Minis are made here, by the way, uh, but the Apple phones, the Apple watches. Uh, a whole bunch of Apple products, right? All made in China. But who owns the company they're making them for? And who has the companies here in the United States that are distributing them and are benefiting by this incredible amount of money that's flowing into their, into their coffers? There, so, there was a mass exodus of our uh, technology, our companies, and our manufacturing uh, during the Clinton administration and uh, probably during uh, uh, H, uh, George Bush Sr. and uh, Reagan, mm -hmm. uh, there, there was a mass exodus uh, for cheaper labor. And what it did was it devastated our manufacturing base. So we lost our triangle of trade. We used to make it, buy it. Yeah, and, and, and I got to tell you, I remember American-made products. They sucked. Well, so, they so, suck. Did, so, did, so did the other products in those years. I mean, you know, when you bought a Zenith or an RC. You know, I, I mean, we could make all those Apple f iPhones here in this country, and you would not be able to find the labor force that would be willing to do that kind of work, that kind of repetitive uh, uh, assembly line work. It could be done with robotics then. You know, no, no, it, well, it, then, well then, then you're doing away with giving jobs to people. 
No, because we have people that uh, service the robots. We have people that program the robots. All I'm saying is, is that they don't do them by robots in China. They go out and they hire people. They're people who, whose families don't make a lot of money. They go to work for uh, you know one of those uh, companies. I can't remember what was the name of one of them. It was very famous. Uh, and and uh, or whatever huh? it was. No, 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 no. Another name. Uh, but the ones that do all the Apple work. Uh, and, and people come from the countryside and go to work and send money back yeah. home to their families is, as a result is that of it. The, is that the companies where they lock the people in? This is the ones where they, they where they, they had to put up netting because they were jumping out the windows. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. basically indentured servants. Yeah, but yeah. it was also the repa- that's what we're competing with, and that's what the, they no, want well, our well, workforce. But, no, but to, but you don't find me a good working amount of Americans who want to do repetitive work like that. You, f- you I, find them I, for me. You know, go to West Virginia. I mean, they're, they're, no, they're all... No, well, why West Virginia? Or, the fact is, you're not going to be able... You know where you're going to find people who are willing to do those jobs? All those no. Mexicans coming over the border right now. Well, you know, there's a lot of people that want work. And uh, a lot of people... Oh, are, really? Are I, I, want I want work. I want work, but I'll be damned if I'm going to be on an assembly line for Apple. Well, yeah, but that's you. But there are plenty of other people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wouldn't do it either, Phil. You wouldn't do it either. So how dare you infer that other people should? Well, the other, there's no work that isn't uh, genuinely good. I mean, if, if you work... Uh, there, there's no bad job. You can't look at somebody and say your work's no good unless you're a crook. You know, uh, you know, all all, all work is uh, is is honest and 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 deserves to be respected. Oh sure, yeah. You really think a lot of the guy cleans the latrines, right? Yeah, hmm? uh, it's a tough job, but he does it and he supports his family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you don't, by the way, do you, do you, an hour. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, if that's he doesn't it, support his family on seven twenty-five an hour, Phil. I'm sorry. Well, he doesn't get a ham operating set, but maybe uh, you know they, uh, uh, you know they they're living. He has to work at three jobs at that rate in order to support his family. That may be true, but uh, you know when you get the competition for those jobs and you can't hire somebody for seven twenty-five an hour, you're going to have to pay ten or fifteen because you're going to be competing with a limited workforce. And so, therefore, the price of labor goes up. In the La La Land, yeah, but in, you know, in the real world, you know, when in the, the real world, the Mexicans come in and take the jobs Americans don't want to do, and the Republicans bitch and moan about it, and yet the companies keep hiring these people. Well, uh, I'll make a joke. The only job that Americans don't want to do is carpet installation. But <laughs> uh, you know, as far as uh, that, that's why I, I was a carpet installer. You know. Uh, but anyway, well, all, all uh, I'm saying is, is that that that, that we this is a global economy and we're fucking up our place in it, and it's no, going to wind up. It, it, they were saying tonight that it's going to wind up costing the average American about 25 percent on goods and services within the next couple of years. Because there are these guys called globalists that wanted to uh, rule the economy that way. Guys like Edward House, who had the ear of uh, uh, President. Um, uh, uh, who's who's the guy from World War One? Uh, the uh, Woodrow Wilson. 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 So he was Wilson's right hand guy, and he was uh, a globalist, and uh, he he wanted a one world government, and uh, and Trump doesn't, you know, and I don't. I don't want a one world government. I want to be a powerhouse. I want this country to excel, <laughs> and and not at not at the not at the. Uh, uh, at the gain of others, I don't want our country to have to lose so that someone else can win. The trouble with the trouble. Donald Trump is that he's a business guy who is thinking with old thoughts and old ways of doing things, and we're going to be beaten out by all the countries who embrace modern uh, modern ways of doing business. Well, the modern way of doing business is not to flood our market. With cheap products. Okay, well, that, you uh, have an answer for everything. Subsidized. Anybody else want to say something here? Uh, yes, uh, Jeff. Well, I have probably a little bit more uh, manufacturing experience than, than any of you, I think. But anyway, over the world has changed, man. It's it's you know it's an automated system. 
it's a high tech system uh, that a lot of products that they stopped building it because it would be too expensive to update them here. Mm -hmm. And guess what? There are people in South Korea, who's a great place to, to build stuff and they build cars there and their, and their cars are the safest cars in the world today. Oh, they make good cars. Uh, that, you know, studies on, uh, on uh, people who uh, who have uh, ex accidents with cars and 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 with the four bell. Also, you know, also we don't we don't we don't adapt to new technology that well. Let me explain what I'm trying to say here. You have a guy like what's his name Tesla guy, um, uh, Elon, Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. He has a thing, it's a new form of transportation, and he wants to put a line in between Los Angeles and San Francisco, and would you be able to go from Los Angeles to San Francisco in about an hour and a half? The air okay. tube. The air tube. Yeah, uh, he, he, can't, he, he, can't get the, he can't get the ability to build that thing to save his life. So where did he go? He went to France, and, and they're going to put one in, in I thought, uh, in I thought he was putting one in Chicago. Oh, uh, excuse me. He is putting one in Chicago. You're right. Chicago that I'm thinking of. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it, 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 you, you go up against so many different things. Now, you have a city like Chicago, so fucking poor. They go, we'll deal with this. We'll take this. You know? Because Musk is pretty well willing to put up the money for it. And then he yeah. wants the profits off of it, of course. Well, I, I was talking to an architect that was I was working with who is developing... Uh, Treasure Island for uh, residential uh, for residential use, and also there they, he's designed this seven foot uh, seven hundred foot high. Uh, uh, what do they call those? Uh, it, it, it's it's like a merry-go-round, but uh, it's seven Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel with a restaurant in it that's like a, a big um, egg. That would be and, so ugly. Yeah. Well. Anyway. Uh, so I said, how are you going to get the cars you know, on and off the island? He says, well, there aren't going to be any cars. And I said, well, he says, we're going to put a, a, a rail route underneath the bridge. And I said, well, what would happen if you had Elon Musk's idea and put it underneath the bay? And he thought that was a great idea, and he took it to his partners. So, you know, <laughs> uh, to, to be able to bring people on and off Treasure Island, uh, from Treasure Island over to the Embarcadero. But BART already goes under the bay, so we've but, done yeah, but it. But it doesn't go to Treasure Island. No, I know. Yeah. And and so what they want to do is they you know they want to populate it and, and do stuff with it. I don't know why so anybody would want to live on Treasure Island. Well, it, it's really windy, but it's beautiful. It's yeah. windy, but it's really windy. I know because I yeah. when I was in the Navy, that's where I went into the uh, into the Navy. That's where I was. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, in installed or whatever into the. They have Section Eight housing there right now it. on one end. Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, I, I remember it as being windy and not particularly beautiful. Well, uh, the views are beautiful, and yeah. and if they remake it, you know, the, uh, there there's some sculpture there that's very interesting. But what they want to do with this Ferris wheel is is have a restaurant in it, and it takes 45 minutes for the wheel to turn. And you go up 700 feet. That's just what I want when I'm sitting at my home in North Beach is to look out at Treasure Island and see a fucking Ferris wheel. I think they have those kinds of things in other countries. Well, uh, good. Let them have it. They have, some one, there, have one in London. There yeah. was a huge amusement park on Treasure Island at one time. Uh, well, no, 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 yeah. no. Treasure Island started out as a World's Fair. Right. In yeah. fact, I don't think that is act an actual island. I think that is an artificial island, yes. which was Yerba Buena, uh, Buena Island. One, one side of it is real. The other yeah. side isn't. And the other side was where they had the World's Fair. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Treasure Island. Yeah, Black and I'm trying to remember what year it was. And that's what it was, it was built for. And then when it was it through, was. when they were through with that, when they were through with that, the military took it over and started using it for military bases. And that's yeah. why I was in, in, brought into the Navy there. Why that was where I, where I showed up for duty. Yeah. And actually, hey, Phil, I, I I go over to Yerba Buena uh, 
sometimes and i and i know how to get to the old military housing which is hard to find and yeah. i know because i did a commercial there once and we do sh we shoot over there well they were uh, shooting some there's nobody there no they were yeah. shooting some tv shows over there they used a lot of those big armories that yeah. were there as as uh as studios yeah uh, nash bridges was shot there quite a bit yeah yeah it, there, because there's, there's no people and it looks like a little town and it's just a yeah. little ghost town over there yeah. but it's so noisy no one can live there because the the cars are just non-stop right above your head yeah this is not going to be a lovely place to sell homes phil well <laughs> uh, on the treasure island side it, it's, it's much it, it's kind of like the presidio uh in, in many ways Oh no! The presidio, the presidio has has hills. The presidio has trees. So, so it has vegetation. Um, not sure. Yerba Buena does. Yerba not Buena the hills. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So and uh, you go up and over to get down to the yeah to the, the flat. Face. Yeah, the flat part is Treasure Island. It's totally flat. It's it's just landfill. Yeah, yeah. And the presidio isn't really the presidio anymore. It's uh, well, part of it is Lucasfilm. Uh, yes. Uh, did you raise your hand, Tom? Um, I think. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, that's becoming one of my favorite bike rides is uh, to Treasure Island over the new uh, 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 eastern span of the Bay Bridge. Mm -hmm. well, I've gone a number of times, uh, with, you know, ridden my bike from my house to, to Treasure Island around and back. It I is, heard you just opened that, okay. that bike path. It's been open for a few years. Oh, they have yeah. a bike path going to Treasure Island? Yeah, but from the East Bay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, since they built uh, the new span, we're trying to get another uh, path over the uh, the western span. Uh, cool. They're still planning on. They're they're still figure trying to figure that out. But right now, the, from from uh, from Oakland, easy ride over. Wow. The uh, San Francisco Fire Department has a huge training facility on Treasure Island too. Yeah. So this is, how we go, this, this is how we go, folks. This is how we how we how we do the citizen panel. We go from one thing to another without even breathing heavy. I, you I, know, I'm tired of Trump. <laughs> you know? well, listen, what we're all we tired have? of Trump. But the only reason why he's around is because of people like you, Phil. Well, he's going to be there at least for the next three years. <clears throat> it's part of getting it. boring, though. I mean, there must be some other news. Yeah. No, it's only it's just getting it, really boring. You know? It's only two and a half years, Phil. Oh. So. What uh, other news is there? But, <laughs> well, no, you, said, no, you know like what it me. is? So here's what the problem is. He dominates the news cycle. He wakes up in the morning and says, what can I tweet or what can I say that people are going to be talking about today? We never talked this much about Obama. He just kind of went to work, did his job, and occasionally he'd do something that, you know, was newsworthy and it was reported. But this but guy every day feels compelled to say something idiotic enough that people are going to talk about it. But you don't have to listen to it if you don't no, want to. No, but the problem is, the, no, the problem is I'm doing a program here in which we talk about things, and I got to tell you, this idiotic shit is 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 fun to talk about. However, however, I what I've said with the press before, I think the press should take a. You don't like us, then we don't like you. We're not going to report you. We're only going to report you when you do something that is important to the United States of America, and not because you said some press. stupid remark about somebody. Patrick said the press got him elected, and now there he is. So, you know, just enjoy it, go for the ride, and let him do what he's going to do. Next uh, well, time, I, if you don't like it, uh, get out and vote. I didn't elect him. Yeah, well, I, I didn't did. elect him. He's, <laughs> he, he's not my El Presidente. Yeah. Oh, here's something for you. What? Kim Kardashian said a few hours ago that she might eventually run for president. Oh, God. <laughs> I, oh, know. I swear, me. I swear, I'm reading it help right me. I don't want to talk about that. We, uh, <laughs> can they make the seat that wide? Yeah. She <laughs> oh, wants to be a lawyer, God. too. Huh? Uh, she, what, she wants to be I a lawyer, too? So what would you say, Kevin? She wants to be a lawyer, too. Oh, is that what she wants to do? Yeah, she wants to be uh, like Daddy. She says she doesn't want to run for office now, though, because she doesn't want to have to give up her brands. You know, I think what Trump what Trump has opened up is this Pandora's box of celebrities who are going to run for office. I heard, thought her husband wanted to run. K Canine West or Kanye West? Canine West. <laughs> Canine West. <laughs> that was a good one, Phil. Yeah, I, I was serious. He was serious. He thought it was Canine. 
Uh, <laughs> by the way, I, I, here's a little piece of trivia, which you're going to be in awe of, I think. Who was the host of the Tony Awards, not this year, last year? One year ago. Must have Neil been Patrick Andy. Harris, wasn't it? Nope. No, that was two years ago. Well, that was two years ago. I read this today, one year ago. I, I forgot. I don't think I watched it. Kevin Spacey. Oh, that's right. That's oh, right. Yeah. I remember that. Amazing how much happens in a year, right? Yeah. They wow. wouldn't even allow him in the room now. And okay. here's another guy that didn't get due process. Here's another guy that was convicted by the court of popular opinion. Uh, look, I agree with you. I think that uh, I nobody should lose their job or anything until somebody goes to court and proves you did something. Yeah. You know, I, 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 and not that maybe they didn't do something, and not that a lot of people aren't going to skate because you have to do that, but the fact is that a lot of people are going to be uh, uh, given a, uh, give, uh, having, having their lives ruined because of false I I insinuations. Like this one last night uh, about, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Jamie Foxx. Oh. This woman oh, yeah. is, is charging him with having slapped her in the face with his penis <laughs> in 2002. And there's a th this is in Las Vegas where there's a three-year limit on that kind of thing. Uh, hey, now, I agree with her. It may have been a dangerous thing because he could have knocked out a tooth. You know, but... Uh, if I was endowed enough to do that, I'd pay the money so that they, <laughs> I didn't have to say I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but I mean, it, it, you know, so I mean, uh, and who they, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy, uh, what's his name? The guy that does all those shows with uh, uh, Talking Dead and so on. What's oh, his Andy Cohen? No, no, not that guy. Uh, uh, oh, the host? Uh, yeah, the host. Uh, you know what I'm ta who I'm talking yeah. about. I, it's uh, not Andy Cohen? No, no, it's not Andy Cohen. Talking Dead. What's that? Talking yeah. Dead. The guy who hosts the, 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 the Talking show. Dead, what's his name? Wow. The yeah. show that comes on after The Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't the, know. The Walking Dead. That's not Andy Cohn. No. 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 Uh, let me look it up. I can't tell you what Andy Cohn does for a living. Never could quite figure it out. Uh, a dating Chris show Hardwick. Chris, ha Chris Hardwick. He has been accused by his um, girlfriend of th three years who finally left him. You're um, right. The most egregious kind of things, like he wouldn't let her, when they were in public, he wouldn't let her talk. <laughs> you know, whenever she went somewhere, he had to know where she was. You know, things like that. I mean, like she was living in this, in this, in this, uh, in this prison with Chris Hardwick. Now, that may be true, but you kept doing this for three years? Do you know who his, uh, his spouse was? Uh, it's Linda Hurst, and uh, she's 5'9". You know, she's big enough to tell him to, you know, leave me alone. That's not the woman that I read. Was the no, uh, it says spouse, Linda no, Hurst. No, no, it wasn't his spouse. It was a girlfriend for three years. Mm. And now AMC is thinking of dropping him because of just the accusations. Here oh we go God. again. You know, I mean, I, I'd like a little more. I, I'd like the court of law to be the arbitrator in this rather than the court of public opinion. But if, apparently, because of social media, that's not, I'm dreaming, okay? Vernon. I agree that uh, due process is, is important in this country. So, Phil, I assume that you don't think it's a good idea for things to be uh, uh, like the accusations against these people in the public opinion that that's a bad thing, right? Uh, yes. I, okay. I, and why is Giuliani out there trying to stir up all this public opinion that Mueller's job. a crook, that Mueller's a crook, that it's all tainted, and this is all for one reason, and that's to stir up the American public so even if uh, uh, the Democrats yeah. win in, in 2018 and impeachment is brought, he will not be convicted because of the court of public opinion will that, not allow him to get exactly convicted. True. Well, that's the extreme example of what you just said you don't like. I don't like it, but, you know, that happens to be the reality of the way things are. Is, uh, are. Chloe Dykstra is the girlfriend. Yeah, Chloe Dykstra is the girlfriend. And she's a cosplayer? And yeah. Isn't that the... The people, they, 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 the people go around dressed up like Bill Cosby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
That was a pretty good one, actually, if I think about it. Yes, uh, 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 Patrick. Vernon, it, it, like Phil said, that that it's all over the place, and you know Giuliani. Uh, most of the people, I mean, on my side, would like to see him shut up too, because he just he's more drivel at the mouth than even Trump is. But I mean, you look at Facebook, you look at any of that. It doesn't matter whether it's somebody like him or if it's your neighbor. People are just stirring shit up. And, Do like you know, I did, Patrick. Drop Facebook. I dropped Facebook about three years ago, and my life has been much better since then. I don't, <laughs> I don't, Rob. I don't engage in much um, political discourse with people anyway. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put out something, and then I enjoy reading what people write because they just they, they eat themselves alive. <laughs> and it's just hilarious. Same yeah. thing with Twitter. I have a Twitter account that I don't look at anymore just because of all the crap that's on there. Do you follow did. Trump? No. On Twitter? I follow no. unfollow Trump. There's an I don't follow Trump. anybody on Twitter. I just, every once in a while, I'll get on there and I'll look at the streaming stuff and I says, eh, I could do better things with my time. I actually follow Tom Yamaguchi on Twitter. <laughs> oh. Well, Tom Yamaguchi is worth following on Twitter because yeah, you know who you get to know everybody stuff. that ever dies. No, but he posts you know? a lot of stuff interesting. No, but he stuff. he's he he's come you have a mission, right, Tom? Somebody important dies, it will wind up in Tom Yamaguchi's tweet. Well, so, yeah, somebody who's had a really interesting life. Uh, and I'll look it over and I say, huh, that's worth sharing. So yeah, I do. That that's one of the things I like doing with my Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like to read Tom's posts. In fact, if you don't subscribe to Tom's tweets, do so because they, you know, you you it's pretty well a, a news piece that you will enjoy and and uh, you know, oh hey, I didn't realize that person was 97 years old, you know. I thought they were dead years ago. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so if you want to follow me, it's at Tom Yamaguchi all one word. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, yeah, uh, be great. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, who died in the last twenty-four hours? Anybody we should know about? Well, let me. I know we had a, a really sad one. Another football player, you know, Dwight Clark. Yeah. Uh, uh, unfortunately, died of ALS a week ago. Yeah. And Barn just horses. yeah, and we just had another uh, another one. Let me go to it because I forgot his name. Keith Farnhorst. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that was a really sad one who's, because who's that? Who's it? it was a tackle for the 49ers. Oh. Yeah. That were played with uh, with Dwight Clark, and uh, yeah, uh, Keith Farnhorst. Uh, last uh, he was injured from from uh, playing football. He ended up in a wheelchair. He had a pump insert to his back to, to deliver medication. And uh, so he just, he died at 66. Yeah, he had a kidney disease. Yeah, yeah, kidney disease. And how old was Clark? He uh, was Clark was 61. Yeah, Clark he was, was early 61, 60. yeah. Yeah. He was well, diagnosed, just... diagnosed in September of 2017 with ALS. Yeah, yeah. not very died long ago. Last week. Here's one that you might do interest you, uh, Alex. DJ Fontana. Yes, DJ Fontana uh, was... Uh, the oh, oh DJ Fontana was uh, actually worked on TV shows, right? No, he was. Oh no 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 no! Hold on hold on hold on! Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley's drummer. He died at eighty-seven. Yeah yeah. No, there was a, a another Fontana, and it was I think it was almost DJ who worked on uh, on. Uh, oh, you're talking about the oh I think I think I know who you're talking about the the writer for Star Trek. Uh, yes. Yeah, you know, that was DC. I DC think. Fontana. Yeah. Well, DJ Fontana yeah, was with Presley. Yeah. How old was he? He was eighty-seven. Yeah, yeah. Those those Southern boys live old. Young. Mi Mini me died too. Yeah. 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 That was uh, that was a while back. Yeah. Vernon Troyer or something. Ver Ver Vern Troyer. Right. Good. Good yeah. for you, Phil. <laughs> you remember that song? Those are people that died. 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 Those are people mm -hmm. that died. 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 Hey, where are my friends? Up. They died. <laughs> yeah. Actor well, Alex know. Beckett died. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Wait a minute. 
Wait a he minute. was only 35. They were all my friends, and they just died. Died. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Okay, I'm not going to play any more of that because I'll get a thing saying I can't play That's it. That's why I so. sung it. I wouldn't play it. Yeah. 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 Um, but, uh, 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 yeah. And the guy who sang it is dead. So. You know. Hey, Alex, I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you keep up with uh, your protege, Christina? No. I remember, I remember you got her a job as a producer when all she was doing was answering yeah. the no, phones. I haven't for heard. You I haven't heard. Off. I haven't heard a word from her it's in the producer's uh, job uh, since I left there. I have not heard one word from her. Yeah. Except when Lori I Johnson, except when I called her and asked as uh, something nasty about her in a tweet that you know, for all I did for her, she could at least call once in a while and say hello, you know. And she got all upset by that. Am I your only ex-producer that calls? No. Albert Reynoso. Oh, that's true, yeah. Probably the best producer I ever had, and she wasn't a producer. She was a phone screener. Yes, Tom. I did well, that. Well, Jeff, because I think you'll really like this one. Well, this was from a week or so ago. Eunice Gason. Yeah, she was, uh, she was actually, she was a running gag, supposed to be a running gag in the James Bond films. Uh, she she played uh, Sylvia Trench, and Sylvia Trench is the woman that Bond first meets up with in the first in Doctor No, and just as he's about to have some kind of a relationship with her, he's called away to do whatever he's got to do. So they then put her in from Russia with Love, and at the beginning he's there's they're out uh, by the water. Uh, and they're, they're about ready to make love, and all of a sudden he's called away again. And the idea for her was to for her to be do that part in every film as a running gag. Uh, but after the second film, they decided not to. But interestingly enough, she was supposed to be Miss Money Penny, and then they mm -hmm. gave it to Lois Maxwell. Am I right? Well, she's described in the obit as as the first James Bond girl. Well, she, she is in that 90. respect, yes. Yeah, so she died at 90. The one thing that was interesting was that someone else did her voice in the movies. Uh, yes, um, uh, and I think it was Lois Maxwell who did her voice. Mm. But I can't, I can't remember exactly. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, she was uh, she was Sylvia Trench, and it's it it was as I say supposed to be a running gag. But uh, if you look the first two films, the beginning of the film, the woman he first beds down or is with or tries to be with uh, is this is this actress, and then she's in the second film, and then all of a sudden she disappears. Yeah, Nikki Van Der Zyl is the woman that did the the voice. Oh really? Okay. Nikki Van Der Zyl. Yeah. Anyway. Well, you know, I only know so much, Tom. <laughs> well, know? I didn't know any of that. So <laughs> you know more than I. I was never a big James Bond fan, so. But uh, I, I used to, I used to have a game. I used to play with Dana Gould, the comedian, and Dana and I would play this game. And you had to name. It was at that time there were only about ten, twelve films. You had to name who sang every theme song in every Bond film. Mm. And we had that pretty well memorized and we would sit there we would sit there at night uh, doing bond trivia with each other trying to stump each other um actors who played this part of that part you know and and so on so you know bond trivia is a lot of fun i know that patrick would find it boring because it isn't star wars trivia but you know i have yet to see a bond film really oh really oh my gosh oh wow and the only Star Wars film I ever saw was the bootleg one that Alex recorded for me on VHS tapes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in those days, I had a copy of Star Wars when you weren't supposed to have a copy of Star Wars. Right. I know. I had it on three-quarter inch cassette. Yeah, you put it on VHS for me. Did I really? Yeah. God, was I a thief or what? <laughs> you know, that was really some bad shit I was doing then that. That was yeah, it. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Was that in New York? It had to be in New York. No, it was in Sausalito. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, by then, I think I actually had a copy of it from the... Well, they, no, I guess they... When did they first release Star Wars out on the VHS? Probably about uh, the time uh, I was it, in San Francisco. It, it, it was still in... The, it was just in the theater. No, uh, no, 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 no. No, no. Star Wars was in the theaters while I... Well, while I was in New York City. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I, I didn't see it in the theaters. Yeah. 
Star Wars opened up, and uh, <clears throat> I remember doing a bit on Midnight Blue where we went down for the second film, mm -hmm. The Empire Strikes Back or whatever that was. Uh, the, the second one was, yeah, Empire Strikes Back. And uh, it was the Empire Strikes Back yeah, that you had at VHS. Yeah. Anyway, we went to the we went down to the theater the day before it opened, and they had all this, you know, all the stuff on the marquee and everything. Empire Strikes Back. They were getting ready to show it the next day, but they were showing some other half-assed film in the theater. But they already had all the signage out there, so we just sat there with a the camera. And, and we said, well, this is the, the first, it, we it ran this the next day. This is the first day of the opening of The Empire Strikes Back. Boy, where is everybody? Could it be <laughs> that bad? And then you see one person walk out of the theater. <laughs> and we went, gee, it must really suck. It, maybe it was Hardware Wars. <laughs> yeah. Hardware Wars? Yeah, that was silly. So, yeah. Shit. But anyway, uh, 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 um, um, no, I remember Star Wars opening up in New York, and uh, this was a picture nobody thought would be a big success, and it was just it was, must have been Empire Strikes Back that you put on VHS for you. I have no some, idea. I have no idea yeah. what kind of thievery I, I was doing. Like it. an hour in line to go see Star Wars when it first came out. Yeah, yeah, and ET also. There were people that camped out overnight. Uh, yeah. Uh, waiting to get into the theater. I didn't yeah. see it until it was at the two dollar theater. <laughs> really? Well, I, 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 Palo Alto, I, I think it was like I was the only one in the damn theater. Is that the one you got to wear an overcoat to? You know, those, yeah, those yeah. were the days. Those were the days, and in a couple minutes, about a minute, we're going to have to start playing the theme. But those were the days when you would go to a movie theater, and it was hard to get in for with a big film like that for the one reason. That when the film was over, they didn't flush people out of the theater. You could just sit there and wait for it to show again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I used to now watch now they they kid. shush you out of the theater. Get the fuck out of here. But in those days, you know, I mean, because in those days you would go to a movie, and come in the middle of a movie, right? And then the most yeah. the most pervasive statement that people made to other people they were at the movie with was, "Was this where we came in?" Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but exactly. so that ca that carried over into the Star Wars era, which wasn't still wasn't, you know, as sophisticated. And you would have to wait for the for people to leave before you could go in. And sometimes people weren't leaving. They wanted to see that thing two or three times. I know people who said I was there all day watching the thing over and over. Yeah, I think and over I watched again. the Pink Floyd animals like like that. I used to, on Sundays, go yeah. uh, start at like 10 in the morning, and I wouldn't get out of there until like 10 at night. I'd go from theater to theater. <laughs> That's what I did when I was a kid, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I would watch like every scary movie I could find and then go home and move to another know, I, I would look. You got 16 screens. I'd say, oh, okay, this one starts in 15 minutes, but you know what? I can see the last couple of minutes of this one before I go into that one. <laughs> and, yeah. So anyway, and then there yeah. was double features all the time, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to get double features. Uh, one time I went, I saw a double feature, and it was two big, giant, epic films. Each one was three and a half hours long. <laughs> and I just, I came out, I bag. was bleary-eyed when I came out of that one. You know, it was like Dr. Zhivago and Ben-Hur or something like that. You know. <laughs> but anyway, hey, listen, everybody. Uh, this was really nice tonight. A good little uh, gathering. I had a little trouble getting started tonight with the video, but outside of that, everything... Worked out just fine. I want to thank you all for having joined us. And uh, why don't you just wave to everybody to say goodbye. And hopefully we'll see you right back here again uh, next week. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, there they go. That's the citizens panel. That's who they be. And I want to remind them, if you can, go over and call uh, Jack. He's up next with the, uh, with the uh, intersection. And he could sure use your call. All right? And he would love you for it. He will come out to your house personally and thank you for having been on his show. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. I got to go. Uh, Jack's next with The Intersection. That's followed by uh, Connections at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning Eastern Daylight Time. On uh, Tuesday, it's uh, Damien and uh, The Exchange, Damien Chaplin and The Exchange. And then I'll be right back here again uh, at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Bye.